All right, today we're going to be making some Yayoi Kasama inspired ice cream. So what I need you to do first is, of course, your big paper where you need to write your name on the back with a pencil and your teacher. Remember, write your name and your teacher's letter. Once you've done that, flip it over. See how my paper is tall? We're gonna make some tall ice cream. And it's on my mess mat. I know it's the same size as my mess mat. And then I have my markers and my ice cream bubbles over here. So the first thing we need to do is we need to draw a small wide ice cream cone. So let's go ahead and on the bottom, about as tall as your ice cream is, you're going to do a V. So see how far it goes up the page. We're gonna do a V that goes down to the bottom of the page with orange and up, back up. Once you've done that, Let's do some diagonal lines that go from one side to the other, but don't go higher than the ice cream cone. Now let's go the other way. So it looks like a diagonal checkerboard. Once you are done doing that, we can color it in yellow to make it look more like an ice cream cone. Remember yours doesn't have to look exactly like mine, but we should have an ice cream cone to start. All right, so now that we have our ice cream cone, we're probably gonna be able to fit one, two, three, maybe four, probably just three ice creams on it. So there's one side that has words and the other side that has the bubbles. You're gonna choose three colors um, and you also have a wipe in case you need to wipe in between. You can do more than one color, but you have to be quick. So let's say I want, I'm going to do my first one, just one color. And I'm going to do my first one purple. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to color my entire bubbles. And it's not going to look like much right now. And look how I'm using the side of my marker like this, kind of at an angle. And I'm trying to color all of my bubbles even if it goes off into my mess mat, but that's why my mess mat is there. All right, so once I've colored it, I want to put it bubble face down onto the top of my ice cream cone. So carefully kind of line it up, hold it down and give it a rub. I'm not smacking it, I'm just rubbing it gently. So holding it with one hand and rubbing it with the other. Once I've done that, I can take it off, and there's my first ice cream scoop. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe off the colors with my wipe. You don't have to if you're using similar colors. All right, so if I'm gonna use two colors, um, I'm gonna use pink and red. I'm gonna take the caps off, remembering that I need to put them back on. And I think I'm gonna do red on the bottom, fade to pink. I'm gonna do red, using the side, trying to use big, big strokes and I'm gonna do pink on top using big strokes kind of going trying to go quickly all right then I'm going to take my bubbles put them face down on top they can overlap which means touches the bottom one a little bit once it's down don't move it up again and print right on top so it looks like it's stacked Ooh, look at that color fade Right, I'm gonna make sure I snap my marker caps back on and put them back. I think my top one, I'm just going to do, hmm. I'm gonna do blue, I'm gonna do the blue. And actually I'm gonna do blue and purple, blue and purple, yep. And I'm gonna try to do stripes and see what happens. Sorry, blue and pink. I'm still going all the way across. I'm still trying to go kind of quick. And put it face down on top. So we can play that again, kind of slowly. You're gonna do three scoops of ice cream and then we're gonna outline them in a second. 
keep your markers and stuff out, we're going to use this again. All right, so once you're done, um, we're going to outline it. You can use the same color as you did, or you can use black. It's up to you. I think I'm going to, I use black because I want it to stand out. So looking at your ice cream thing, and you could actually, you could trace this if you really wanted to. I want to make an arch for my top one. So let's start on the top. Let's make a rainbow arch at the top. That goes around. Then on the bottom, it bumps out, out. And then you can use a bumpy line underneath. So it's gonna look like waves going up and down, up and down, up and down. Now they're overlapping and touching a little bit. So you're not gonna see the top of this bump. So from underneath this ice cream, see how it goes on the edges right here. We're gonna go from this line, go down, two curves down like the sides. Two curves down from the top ice cream. And then like the other one, you're still gonna go out, bump, bump. Kind of looks like two little ears, doesn't it? <laughs> and then a bumpy line that goes up, spiky, kind of jumping with the point going upwards. Right, one more time, going from the ice cream, going two curved lines down on the outside edge. Bump out like little ears. And then little bumpy wavy lines on the bottom. Now we have a lot of space outside of our ice cream cone. So what we're gonna do is you're going to take your scoop and you can color it lots of different kinds of colors. So you're gonna just kind of use a little bit of the edge and you're gonna go ahead and press it. So these don't have to be perfect. They're just kind of making sections of color. If you change colors, you should try to wipe it a little bit. But you can use either side and put it next to your ice cream cone and print more dots. When we're looking at Yayoi Kusama, she had lots of dots that were involved in her dot experience. So we want to make this a whole dot experience as well by adding lots and lots of dots by printing lots and lots of colors around our ice cream. And the black outline helps separate um, our ice cream from this really dotty background. So you can color any part of the ice cream, make sure it doesn't overlap our big ice cream too much and print a very colorful background. I like to try to use different colors than what I used in my ice cream. So that way it stands out more. And it's okay if it overlaps a little bit or if you miss little spaces. so I can do less wiping. Oh, that's, a good, that's a pretty good idea.
All right, so when we're done, um, <laughs> your wife is almost like a piece of artwork too. Uh, make sure that your marker caps are snapped back on. They're upside down so they work better. You don't have to necessarily wipe this off because I have to clean it anyways. But that's our Yayoi Kasama inspired and Wayne Theobo inspired ice cream.